Shocking video into our newsroom, apparently showing a Texas DPS trooper crossing the International Bridge during a pursuit and going into Mexico. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan and I'm Natasha Paloma. Some of the video you just saw there is from a DPS dash camera that was leaked. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live the US Mexico border and Shelby, do we know what happened to that state trooper? Natasha and Andy, Mexican federal officials do tell us that that DPS trooper was released back into the United States after crossing into Mexico through the Bridge of the Americas here during that pursuit. But go ahead and take a look here. You can see that dash cam video from the DPS vehicle where you can see the trooper cross into Mexico chasing the red car and then he gets out of the vehicle with his gun drawn and pulls the driver out of the car and a pair of Mexican soldiers can be seen in the background just looking at the scene. Now, now, former El Paso and Tucson Sector Border Patrol Chief and current UTEP Professor Victor Monjadez telling KTSM that U.S. law enforcement crossing into Mexico has happened before, but says it was more common before there was a border barrier. And, and, uh, and I imagine with the DPS trooper, the heat of the moment, they didn't realize, you know, that he was in Mexico. Now, of course, big clue as the guy stopped and you know, Mexican, you know, military there, that should have been, you know, clue one and two. In another video from the Mexican side, you can see a Mexican official on the cell phone and the trooper returns to the SUV with the Department of Public Safety on the side while a Mexican soldier records him. Now, we did reach out to DPS, but they tell us that this investigation is still ongoing, but Mexican federal officials do say that that person in the red car was released in Mexico as they are a Mexican citizen. However, they have also said that that person may also have U.S. citizenship as well. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Shelby Capke. KTSM 9 News.